if the impact gets too severe, then everyone agrees that the net harms will grossly overweigh the net gains. And that's why it's been a, supposed by most people that a two degree limit is what we should try and strive for. But the most important way in which we can uh, reduce the long-term risk of climate change is to accelerate the transition to an economy where we don't need to burn fossil fuels for energy. And we know that this is going to happen by use of renewables, probably solar, and maybe also by nuclear. And I think it's very important, therefore, to raise the level of research and development into solar, into smart grids, into energy storage, and maybe into new forms of nuclear. Because the more quickly we can develop more advanced versions of those technologies, the more quickly the economy will choose to move towards the adoption of those. And I think that's a politically realistic way in which we should move. And fr frankly, we could do a lot more because the level of R&D in energy is far below what it is in, say, medical science. Why shouldn't it be on the same level as in medical science? And this would also have the bonus of uh, boosting the engineering profession because there are a few more inspirational goals to offer to young engineers than providing clean and safe energy for the developed and the developing world. So my third and most important way of spe speeding the transition to a low carbon economy would be to enhance R&D. Governments are putting some money into it, um, private sector, venture capital companies, some, but no more. But of course, if they see it coming uh, uh, closer, not so far over the horizon, and expect to get paid back more quickly, then one hopes that would lead to a virtuous circle and would encourage even more development. So the funding for this enhanced R&D would have to come partly in pump priming from governments, but hopefully that would stimulate a response from the private sector, which would then see that this could realistically lead to a completely transformed energy economy within their normal planning horizon.